<laughs> We're super hard. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm excited to be here. How about you? <laughs> it's Mr. RLC contest. Time to shine. Might want to resign to my rhymes, because all my lines are prime. I decided on poetry, my exhibition's demonstration. Its definition is revelation. Recognize your fascination as I devise this presentation. But first, someone should call campus safety the emergency one, because in a couple of seconds, there'll be a fire on my tongue. So let me start with how this school needs assistance, and with persistence, we can fix this. There's just certain problems that won't disappear. Unlike the coke and juices from the cellar as the weekend it nears. <laughs> now you may think this task is easy, but I would surely wager it'll be at least harder than a communications major. <laughs> what my Benson problems are, which are more common than their pasta bar, which, speaking of, should probably soon be served at breakfast hours. <laughs> um, that was a good boo. Totally threw me off what I was going to say next. Oh yeah, alright. So walking through Benson, you always spot that one person, whom as they walk towards you, things just worsen. Because you know their face, but not their name. Should I say hello? Will they say the same? Huh, but to fix this problem, brilliant sound. You finally find great interest in the ground. Or you look away and fake thoughts profound. <laughs> now is it just me or do homework and tests always coincide? It's like the universe aligned to delight in my demise. Now it must be that my teachers get together on their break and think, all right here, how can I best screw over Jake? <laughs> Well, I could give him a 15-page essay due next week. Brilliant. Yeah. And I'll give him a midterm when he thinks he's hit the peak. Well, I've got a quiz I can announce when he's not in class. Perfect. Now there's not a chance he could maybe pass. So they sit there, laughing at my certain agony when they talk about how cool it is to have a PhD. <laughs> but now I'd like to mention all of those who talk too much in class, for whom grades to pass require you to talk in mass. You seem to create all these questions that always vary in uselessness, like the hundred flat screens in our library. <laughs> but you still raise your hand and think you're oh so charming. <laughs> when really, your noses are a product of Charmin. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'd like to mention the dorms and reforming norms in them. Because I've been conformed by swarms of nuisance that have formed so warm within. So, the washers. Could we shrink their costs instead of my clothes? It's like I paid Lacoste to create a dressing set for some Tickle Me Elmo's. <laughs> or, maybe the vacuum cleaners. I got problems with them, too. Can we get some that don't totally suck, but actually do? And while we're at it, can we thicken the walls? I just realized my neighbor's name is pronounced, oh, Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it apparently lasts like a walk to Lucas Hall. So as you can see, I have some issues getting to sleep. So yelling, wake up, swig, that crap from the street? is a joke with the same great taste as Bon Appetit. Oh. <laughs> so, so listen up, administration. I think I've got some fine frustrations. And while words will never hurt me, my poem's been shown to be the sticks and the stones that are breaking the bones. So bring out CSI, because I'm causing blunt force trauma, yet people will still cheer like you're Bush and I'm Obama. <laughs> But time shortens and I need to finish. I, want, I don't want to let the other's time diminish. So I'll leave with some last quick words of myself described. And if that doesn't work, I have some money to bribe. <laughs> I try to be kind, sincere, smile, and say hey. I'm not quite as intimidating as the guy on the Segway. Uh, I like long walks on the beach, discussing feelings when stressed. I also like guns, blood, cursing, and growing hair on my chest. <clears throat> So, if that's not enough reason to choose me, I'm also a genius. And in case you were wondering, I have a very large computer. <laughs> Living with...